Hi, Lola here, and today we're going to talk about the manual training mode again and how to strengthen your pelvic floor. In a previous video, we talked about the quick flicks, which are very important for those sudden movements. Well, today we're going to talk about strengthening just to get you strong enough that you can, you can hold for longer periods and just for overall improving your muscle strength of your pelvic floor. So there's two different ways we can do this in the manual training mode. Uh, the first one is we can use an elevator contraction. An elevator contraction is very good for teaching you how to get that lift that you get when, that you're supposed to have when you do your strengthening, when you do your kegels. It's supposed to be a lift and a squeeze. Most people can get the squeeze, but they don't get the lift very well. So with the elevator contraction, we're going to, we're going to help you learn how to do that. So you'll go to your manual training mode. You'll want to set your parameters where you can do five to ten repetitions, whatever you're strong enough to do. Um, if you're very weak and you're starting here because you can't play the games, you may want to start around five contractions. And then you'll do this, you will set your contraction time for four seconds, start at four seconds, and your relaxation time at eight seconds. Your relaxation time should always be double what your contraction time is. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to pull up and in for four seconds when she tells you to contract. And what you should see on your screen when you do this is you should see a contraction that starts down a little bit lower, rises up a little bit higher, and then goes a little bit higher. So it should be sort of a stair step. So it's one, two, three, four. So a gradual raising of this as you control it and then you'll relax, okay? So you can do as many of these as you can, and you want to exercise until you're fatigued. And by fatigued, what I mean is that one of the things you want to be very careful for when you do these contractions is that you don't pull in other muscles to help out the pelvic floor. You should feel that pull solely at the anal area, sort of like you're trying to hold back gas. And if you looked at it in a mirror, you could actually see that area puckering and moving in. Um, since the anus and the pelvis are closely connected, all those muscles, if you just pull in from that anus, you'll also get those front pelvic floor muscles. So this is the first one you can start working on is the elevator contractions. If you get really tired and you find you're starting to pull in your abdominals, you're squeezing down your abdominals or you're squeezing your buttocks, then you know you're getting tired and you need to rest. So for the second Thing you can do for these is you want to do a longer hold and as you get better at these you'll be able to hold for longer periods of time so you can start off you can start off with your longer holds. you can set your contraction time on anywhere from five to eight seconds whatever you can hold comfortably so you'll set your contraction time five to eight seconds and then you'll set your rest time double that so if it's five seconds you'll set your rest time for ten seconds it's eight seconds, you'll set your rest time for 16 seconds. That's just a general rule to follow. And what you should see on your screen then, when you hold that, when she tells you to contract and hold it, you should see a much longer contraction time. You will notice here that it drops down a little bit in the middle. That just means you started to let it go and then you picked it right up again. But you never let it go all the way back down to baseline, which is good. So, just keep practicing these, and again, do these until you feel like you're fatigued. So you can put your repetitions, you can start initially at five. If you do five okay, then start go to 10 and see how you do with 10. So using these two methods, the elevator and the longer holds, you'll be increasing the strength of your pelvic floor. As always, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. We're always happy to answer. Thanks so much and happy kegeling.